This is Dr. Phil Chavez. On May 13th, the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima in 1981, as John Paul II was entering here at St. Peter's Square in his Pope Mobile near the right colonnade where I'm standing now, he was shot by Mehmet Ali Adka, a Turkish assassin. A marker is set on the precise spot where the Pope fell, which is right here on this place. He was hit in the presence of 20,000 people before his regular Wednesday audience began. The Pope was struck four times, two bullets lodged in his lower intestine, and the other two deflected off his left index finger and his right arm. From the deflections, two American bystanders were struck, one in the arm and the other in the throat. A bullet missed a major artery of the Pope by one centimeter, sparing his life. From a trajectory analysis, experts claim that the bullet came from a different point of origin. Some would call that a miracle. Actually, there were four assassins present. The other three withdrew, and among them, one had a bomb. John Paul II believed it was Our Lady of Fatima who redirected the bullet from hitting vital organs on this day of her feast. He says it was the mother's hand that guided the bullet's path. In a ceremony the day prior, John Paul II blessed a new ambulance presented to him, and he included a benediction to its first victim. In his blessing, he added, I also give my blessings to this ambulance's first patient. Maybe this blessing to himself saved his life. Now, some of the blood spill can be viewed in a reliquary within a chapel dedicated to John Paul II in Santo Spirito Church, not far from here, very close to the square. One of the bullets removed from his body is embedded in the crown of the main statue of Our Lady of Fatima in the Capilinia Chapel of the Shrine of Fatima, Portugal. That is the spot where she appeared on May 13th in 1917. John Paul II had only Christian love for his would-be assassin, and he made his appeal to the faithful, saying, Pray for my brother Adka, whom I have sincerely forgiven. May we all come to forgive even the worst offense against ourselves. St. John Paul II, pray for us.